the sea hurled ashore. Hey, you! What clan are you from? No clan. I'm from the continent. Skellige warriors alone drink in this tavern. <laughs> Why are you here then? Don't look like warriors to me. More like shepherds. Every Skelliger's a warrior. Even him born in a sheep shack. But we don't expect you to understand. Every man's a thrall on the continent. Cringing afore his master like a mongrel whining for scraps neath the table. Whosoever denies shelter to a traveler, disgraces himself and brings shame on his clan. Your dad's teach you nothing. Don't you talk to me about me da, Yaren, or I'll tuck you in neath the barrow. And you remember this, stranger. This here's not Kerr Trolda. And we's not on crate. Guests are not welcome. You don't mind the occasional traveler? I mind fools, no matter where they're from. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Jorant, son of Sigvald. If you've no one to drink with, sit down with me. Share some mead and a teal. Hi, Geralt. I don't often raise such a hubbub. You must rarely get guests from the continent. Aye, true. When a Redanian or Tamarian grows the stones to come to Skellige, they usually go ashore at Kertrolda. Port's good there. Merchants are plenty, and the Jarl's right merciful to Continentals. Those two boys, the pesky ones, who were they? Corey and Cracky. Only ever troublesome, as is their father, Leif. He interesting in some way? Depends. If it's liars and cards that interest you, then very much so. Saw your notice. Pretty bare. Can you tell me more about the beast? It's a ghost, I think. Or some other nightmare. Haunts Eldberg near the lighthouse. Started harmless. Lighthouse just stopped burning one night. Without that light, ships can't make Aaron Bjorn safely, so we sent two men to see what had happened. Let me guess. They didn't come back. Nay, they didn't. Mikyal, the lightkeeper, he'd also gone missing. So I gathered some lads, a rescue party, and off we sealed. As we neared the isle, I hit the rudder hard and turned round. I'd seen a wraith on shore. Must think me a coward. Will crude steel it not do us much good there? I felt it in me bones. All I could think to do was to gather gold round the village for a reward. Help us, and it's yours. Fine. See what I can do. Thank you, Geralt. You're a good sort. Ought to be said. Uh, how did you get here? What do you think? It is an island. You, Mikyal, the lightkeeper? Joran from Erenbjorn sent me. Where'd all those wraiths come from? Last saw something like this near Vergen when... From nowhere's. That's just it. Fire went out and wind died of a sudden. That's how it started. Came out here for oil, stepped out of the house, looked up, saw the mist rising. Then the ghost showed, came straight at me. Bolted it back inside, hosped the door, and then I heard it. Someone whispered me name. Miguel, Miguel. I look out, there's the wraith. Big bugger, bigger than the rest, and cold flowing from it. Such cold, the windows frosted o'er. This wraith, the big one, tell me more. It, it, it seemed more clever than the others. Like it knew, knew everything. Haven't helped much, have I? Sorry, only saw it once. It disappeared right after. These ghosts didn't appear without reason. Something brought them here. Any ideas? No clue. There's nothing here. The lighthouse. Me hot just rocks besides. Even bloody drowners know there's nothing for them on Elberg. Strange. Need to look around. Here. 
This key opens the lighthouse. You know, in case you want to look inside, or you need to run from something. Phew, it's just you. Learn anything? Islands haunted by a penitent. Spectre punishes the guilty for crimes, foul deeds. Like luring ships onto the rocks, then looting the wrecks. Don't deny it, I found the letter. Longboats sink every so often anyway. That's the sea, that's its nature. They sink near the isle, at least the cargo don't go to waste. We'll come back to that later. Just now, I need your help. But, but, but what? I'm no warrior. Guessed that already. But a curse grips both you and this place, and only you can lift it. Luckily, all you gotta do is light the fire in the lighthouse. Penitence invincible as long as darkness covers the island. I... I, I, I can't go outside. It'll kill me. I can f feel it. Mayhaps you could. I'll escort you. Now no excuses. Grab some oil and let's go, before I change my mind. Look! There! It's him! I see it. Now shut your mouth and go light the fire. Remember, you fail, the penitent will kill me, then come for you. Did... did it work? It did, but that doesn't make the island safe. Cause you're still here. A lightkeeper who lures ships onto the rocks. Sheesh. I made a mistake. I know this now. Swear by Frey and all the gods never again. Best keep that promise. I ever hear of another ship, even a dinghy, running aground off Eldberg. I'll come back here, finish what the penitent started. Understand? But I... I understand. Hi, Geralt. I killed the monster from the lighthouse. It was a penitent, very dangerous specter, and very rare. Why did it ever appear on Eldberg? It's been a peaceful island always. Even sirens haven't nested there. Someone committed a crime there, did something terrible. Ask Mikyul for the details. Interesting man. Definitely more than meets the eye with him. Never mind that. Let's talk about my reward. Aye, yes. Got it right here. Earned every last coin you did. And a round. Cheers to your health. Emma girl. Got a taste for Skellige mead, Vagrant? It's not bad, thanks. Ah, then get yourself a cake for the road. And fuck off. I see you lads still don't understand the law of hospitality. Tough. Seems like guts to pound it into you. Thanks, Jorand. Pounding's always better with a partner. So many raids. Wars. Duels. Only to die at the hands of some miserable shits. Stay calm. Get you a healer. No point. Pierce me lung. I'll drown in my own blood or too long. Pour a nip off for me at times. For Jorant, son of Sigvald. Who lived honorable and died like a fool. Had but two sons, and you killed them. You ended my line. Sorry, but I didn't start it. Does this stranger speak the truth? Who first drew a blade? Dunno. It happened fast, and we were a few horns in. Your son showed no respect for the law. If not for your end, something would have happened first time around. There's a blood feared between Yorin's family and mine. Makes no difference what he did or said. Don't want any more bloodshed, but I'll defend myself if I have to. You'll make your defense before the Jarl. Only if Madman Lugos calls you innocent, will you be free to go. 
I'm to be judged by somebody you yourselves call madman. That, or fight the whole village. And you'll never defeat us all. Not with three swords, you won't. Fine. Lead the way. Just had to stop by that damn tavern. When's my trial? When the Jarl summons you. Won't be soon. The longer a man crushes rocks, the less eager he is to give Leptune trial. This one's waited a year. That one, three. But see, Lugos said my trial would be today. Don't remember? Oh, I. Right. Uh, come on. My line dates back to the times of Uben the Great. This dog ended it. He's gotta die. I passed judgment here, Leif. Remember that. But he's a vagrant, a foreigner. He don't deserve a trial, not even death by the sword. He... Now go on. I want to hear this. Geralt, didn't think I'd see you again so soon. I don't remember sending for you. Wouldn't mind waiting if I had a free year or two. Sadly, I'm in a hurry. Let's get to it. Leif claims you killed his sons, Cory and Crocky. What do you see to that? Fought to defend myself, and Jorand. None came forth to confirm your words. And none will. Always easier to hang an outsider than to try one of your own, right? Huh? Tongue as sharp as your blades. Sharp? He insults me, Yarl. Insults our whole clan. The Codex of Ancestors says... Quiet! I've made my decision. Gerald of Rivia, I find you guilty on two counts of murder. Punishment's death by suffocation. But you can buy your way out by paying Cory and Crocky's weight in silver. You know I don't have that kind of coin. Unless those boys were a lot lighter than they looked. I'm well aware of that. I'll pay the blood price myself. What? That's against every law. I make the laws here. Go home late, because if you rail me, I'll tie this bag of silver round your neck and toss you in the sea. Why the theatrics? If you wanted to hire a witcher, should have just said so. Would have been cheaper. Tell me, witcher. Have you any honor? I do. I paid Leif on your behalf. That puts you in my debt, a debt of pride. You ought to do as I say. So, listen carefully. My lad, Blue Boy Lugos, has ventured out, but not against the Black Ones, nor to loot a convent. Got the notion to go to the Cave of Dreams, south side of the Isle, and none return from there. You're clever and good with a sword, two traits that rarely go together. So, you're to help him. I need an heir, no matter his metal. Take your things and do as I say, or lose your dignity and good name for all time. What do you want? Want to talk to Blue Boy Lugos. <laughs> Hear that? He wants to talk to Lugos. What else, Vagrant? Care to plow Freya? Lugos is expecting me. Lead the way. R right. Come on. Why? I don't get it. Then stay here. Think it over. Know the last time I had a Continental on my ship? No. When I hauled prisoners from Velen to the slave market in Nazaire. Now, tell me why you're here. Your father felt you could use a witcher's help, and I owe him a favor. So, 
Told him not to meddle. Told him I'd manage fine on my own. Maybe that's not entirely true. Cave of Dreams. Supposed to be a dangerous place. Mortally so. But that's my reason for going there. Fine, so be it, I take you. Old man's like to throw a fit elsewise. Or he's about to go. You ready? What awaits us in the Cave of Dreams? Depends wholly on us, cuz... Uh, I'd explain later. We can go. Is it far? Nah, our stones throw. Let's gather the lads and go in. We'll know soon if there's truth to the legends. Girls, these are the best warriors in me crew. They'll come with us. You know Jarlf, called the Wolverine? Good day. And this here's Uv Jabberjaw. Why is Uv so quiet? Because he got no tongue. What happened? He lick a frozen blade? No. He tore it out because he cursed King Brand while drunk. Lost his power to speak, but kept his honor. Interesting customs you got here. Before we head off, will you tell me about this cave? You could at least tell me what we might have to fight. Only you can know that. Elders say in the Cave of Dreams you face your greatest fears. Face what makes you wake up at night, screaming. Something that's already been, will be, or just might be. I do wonder what a monster slayer fears. But we've talked enough, lads. Swords in hand. Let's go! The totem! Right where it should be. Now's when we eat the herbs. Why would we do that? To go on. To where the nightmares are. So says the legend. And so we will do. What herbs are these? Hmm. What that druid say? Hemlock, poppy, nightshade, and that chicky. No, uh, henbane. Whoa. In for one hell of a ride. Fine. Give him here. Take it. Oof. Jarl, eat up to the last grain. I don't feel no different. How about you, Oof? <laughs> You're asking a mute his opinion. You're feeling it, mate. Come on, let's go. Time to face our fears. not possible? I see you're weary from the battle. Sit with me, son. Have some mead. Pray tell your adventures. Thank you, my king. We... I shan't drink with you, old man. And I shan't call you king. Get off that throne while you've still strength in your decrepit bones. Oof. You can talk. Uh, I, I, I... I... I didn't... But I... <gasps> you insult me once more, old Jabberjaw. The first time I left you to punish yourself and retain your honor, but now... Now you'll die like a thrall and eels will eat your remains. Yes. Yes, you do. Here's your father's boat. The ship you wrecked against the rocks. Lost in our sweet song. I'd kill you! Kill all you plow and seahorse! Slay us, tribe. But you'll not restore his life. You slew him, a son who killed his father. You fear nothing, boy. You! You pissed your trousers 
when night and struck the tree by our wall. I was three years old. I've shone a hundred times since then that I... You pissed yourself before the whole village. The Jarl saw it. Ah, the shame should have punished you. You're a vision. A specter. A vision of your dog, who you fear. Because you know you don't live up to him. You know you disappoint him. I'm a better warrior than he ever was. Prove it, you little shite. Garrett. You've paid your debt. You're a free man. Gonna tell your father what you faced in the Cave of Dreams? Of course I will. I've no fear of him, right? Twas an honor to fight at your side. Farewell, Garrett. Always did know how to win, friends. I was provoked. Mm hmm. Saw it happen. Wanted to talk to me about something? Amos Far Ipsis. A specialist on jinns. Heard of him? I found a tome he penned in the Emperor's library. Far Ipsis set off for Skelliger one day and was never heard from again. I asked some of the local folk. Some here still remember him. They know what happened to him? The locals say they last saw his ship off the coast of Hindisfjall. Then a once in an eon storm broke. So he's probably fish food by now. Not necessarily. I must learn what became of him. Why? Do you know him? No. It's not the mage who interests me. It's his djinn. Why are you even interested? Djinns are dangerous sometimes, and malicious all the time. I remember. But the advantages outweigh the risks. If I can tame a djinn, I shall gain incredible power. And that could be useful to us one of these days. You sure this mage actually had a djinn? His books strongly suggest he did. He describes taming one, harnessing energy from its power. Storm wouldn't pose a threat if he'd had a djinn. He could just utter a wish. Perhaps he had none left, or something unexpected happened. All right, so what exactly do you expect me to do? You must help me find this djinn. I've no gold to offer in reward, but I shall be ever so grateful. Since you put it that way, fine. I'll help you. Thank you. A boat awaits in the harbor. Come. The ship carrying the djinn sank somewhere in this area. Not too precise as leads go. I'll cast a spell on our boat. We'll know if there are any wrecks on the seafloor below us. All right, let's get to work. Mind if I take the helm? <sighs> I got a choice. No. Only found half. Can you do anything with this? I can use it to locate the other half, to within a dozen yards. And once we find that, we should find the djinn. Exactly. Ready? I'll take us there on the count of three. Oh, no, not another portal. Stop whining. One, two... Three. Said you were gonna go on three. I did. Look, we must search the area. 
Yen, not so fast. Gotta tell me what this is about first. Why do you want this Jin? But you already know. A Jin's power is priceless to a mage. That I know, but I also want to know how you plan to use it. Wouldn't go to these lengths if it wasn't something important. You're right. It's important. Even very important. <sighs> how long has this been going on, Geralt? This thing between us. Fifteen, twenty years? We repeatedly split up, then return to one another. Something draws us to each other. But I can never be certain if it's a true feeling, or merely a bit of mischief by a djinn. So that's it? This is about my last wish? You asked that djinn to bind us together forever. I want to ask this one to take that wish back. Why would you want to do that? To see what it's like without it. To see if we'll still matter to one another. Or if we'll be like two strangers. Wondered that myself many times. You see, we're just a step away from learning the truth. Come, let's search the ship. Yen. I think you should see this. What do you have? It's Amos. Looks exactly like the etching in the book. Except his head was intact there. Think the djinn did this to him? No, it wouldn't attack its master. This looks rather like an unfortunate accident. When the storm broke, Amos must have uttered a wish like... Take us away, anywhere, to a mountaintop, even. And the Jinn granted the wish literally. They had a hard landing. Amos was thrown off his feet and against the wall. The bookcase did the rest. Always knew too much studying could kill you. If he died while being teleported, Seal might still be on him. Behold. Bravo! Come to the deck. I've an idea. Step back a bit. What are you going to do? Summon and tame the djinn. It's not likely to be happy. Stand at the ready. Tame djinn. Riff kaishta en gaya. Kaishta et displayer. Givered me castle. over yes it's all over maybe we should sit you look a bit dazed I'm not but we can sit feel any better I told you I'm fine don't need to play tough for me that was a hard fight. Maybe not as hard as the last time we tamed a djinn, but still. 
<laughs> no comparison, I'm afraid. Half of Rhine suffered then. Now I'm merely a bit tired. Thank you for coming, Geralt. I'd have had a much harder time of it on my own. Well, never could say no to you. Hmm. Perhaps that will change now. Feel anything? That anything's different? Hmm. I expected... I don't know what I expected, actually. A bit of vertigo, perhaps. I thought... you'd become a stranger to me. That I'd look at you and not feel a thing. But it's not like that at all. Nothing's changed. Jin might have cheated us after all. Why? Because I don't feel that anything's changed either. I love you, Yen. And I love you. Was that it can't be all sweetness and light strange done that so many times but it felt like our first kiss to me it was in a way besides once you say I love you a kiss has to taste differently maybe we ought to test a few other things Amos's cabin looked cozy not so fast Geralt we'll have plenty of time to visit cozy cabins later but I doubt the world will end if we sit here a while. <sighs> My, it's lovely. Mm -hmm. Think the spirits of Skellige favor us. Next time we go on horseback. A horse would never make it down that mountain. What now? Well, I'm due to appear in Vizima. We must report to the Emperor after all. Ceres our concern, and only ours. At heart, perhaps. But it's not what we agreed with Amir. We must see him. Awfully loyal to your patron. He happens to be your patron as well, darling. You do well to remember that. Otherwise, he might feel compelled to remind you. If we gotta, we gotta. We wouldn't have known Siri had returned if not for the Emperor and his agents. It's the least we can do. Yen, what happened back there? It was very nice. Let's not ruin it by hashing out the details. I'm going to see the Baron. Collect Uma from him, then we'll ride for Kaer Morin. I shall join you as quickly as I can. See you, Yen. Take care of yourself. Oh, good your ear. So, what'll it be? Will you help old Nardis find a black pearl for his wife? I'd like it done already. Humidity's unkind to my bones. They've started creaking. Let's go. But get ready for them to creak some more. Not likely to find pearls where it's dry. True. But I survived worse during the war. At Ross Rock, we fought waist deep in the swamp and... Ah, wasted my breath. History don't mean a wit to youngsters. Come on, pearl grounds aren't far now. This is the place. They say dive down here and you'll see the oyster beds all around. Problem is, not all hold pearls. And the black ones are a real rarity. But search long enough and you're sure to find one. Ah, so I'm supposed to do the diving? Well, you see, I've been in the infantry all my life, so I'm not one for water. And my lungs ain't what they used to be, so, uh, yeah. Huh. Customer's always right. Damn it. Splashing must have attracted them. You all right? Uh, nicked in a few places. But if I pull through after Sodden, I'll survive this too. So, any luck? Black Pearl. 
Just like you wanted. Beautiful. Rare. Like my letter. Well, as Constable Natalis would say, you've earned a medal. Or better yet, a week's leave in a brothel. Coin will be fine. Oh, yes, um, <clears throat> about that. Uh, listen, I, I feel right foolish, but, well, I, I didn't bring any coin with me. Don't try to cheat me. And earn a witch's ire. I'm old, but I'm not stupid. We'll meet in Novigrad. I'll pay you to the last copper. Foot soldiers on her. What do you want? I'm looking for people from Unvik. They're dead. See now, I heard many survived. Stubborn, get your... What do you want to know? You there when the giant attacked? Hey, I was. One of the Jarl's personal guards. Uh, I failed him. Let no credence to what the priestesses said. And we'd be punished for robbing the earth of iron. Forging it into blades that men kill one another with. That Freya would punish us. Perhaps they spoke the truth. Jarl of Undvig. Tell me about his death. Jarl Harald the Houndsnout. His whole crew died that night. Wilmar, Wilfred, and Wilhelm. I reached them too late. Saw the giant dash Wilmar against a rock. He fell right beside me. All his bones broke, wriggling like a salmon on the sand. Harold was dead by then. What? No, Jarl fought like a bear. Slicing and dodging and hollering, then slicing again. Couldn't save himself, though. How did you manage to survive? First I heard the giant growl to those flying sirens. Damn me if he weren't giving them orders. Under stress, men see all kinds of things. I know what I saw. Rushed to help the Jarl, but one of the cunts sunk her talons in me, lifted me up, tried to take me to their nest, pecked me apart, I reckon. But I broke loose of her grip, plummeted from quite a height, crashed hard, couldn't stand. Last thing I saw, swarm of sirens swooping down on the Jarl, thrashing round him. He yipped, he yelped, he screamed, he hollered. Then silence. The men escorting the women and the children to the ships took my unconscious flesh away and brought me to Hard Skellig. I should go. Yeah. Greetings. I'm Geralt. The Witcher known as the White Wolf, I know. They tell stories about you every day around here. Looking for an open seat at the table? I'll be fine. Just wanted to talk. Gotta say, I like the place. I should hope so. Found it a rune when I came here from Unvik. Gold shitting into the tankards through the gaps in the thatch. I bought the hut, rolled up my sleeves, and made a proper alehouse out of it. Why do you call it the new port? Continuity. Owned the old port on Unvik. A few of my former customers come here evenings to reminisce about the old times. I heard Yalmar came here to gather men for his expedition. Aye, he did. Such spirit. Stormed in, swept the bowls off the table, jumped atop of it and cried, I'm sailing off to seek glory. Who's with me? Who wants to cut off that bloody giant's head? Guess that was enough to recruit a longboat full of men. Ah, they carried him out in their shoulders, yelling all the while, we'll win back the forge, string that giant up by his gizzards. Should have seen it, Witcher. Brought tears to my eyes. Yelmar seems popular around here. He is cracksome. Clever lad. Put together a fine crew. Hardy drinkers and warriors both. By the times I've had to piece together tables and benches after hosting them. The Unvik lads he took on. No spring minnows either. In fact, was a clan Tordrach man gave Yalmar the idea for the expedition. The shipwright, uh, what's his name? Viggy? That's him. Hope to earn a new by name, the Fearless. Till now they call him the Loon. They wanted to take back a forge? What's that about? Never heard the Unvickers forge the best armor in these isles. 
Their swordsmiths are nothing to sneeze at either. Because we made our blades like the dwarves forged us the hills. Soft layered core fitted with a hard steel coating. How do you know? That's a clan Tordor of us here. Got some friends who are dwarves. Perhaps you do. But the ore from the mines of Undvik, why not even... Well, no one's got it. That's that. Yalmar must have had a plan. Tell me about it. Plans? Ha! <laughs> they didn't even know where to look for this giant. As I recall, Viggy wanted to cross a frozen lake and scale the mountain. They say the giant came from there, awoken by the frost that gripped the land around the tower. To the harsh winter. Suited that man-eater perfectly. It can only get worse. Even the gods... Well... Mm -hmm. Another one don't believe Ragnarok is nigh. You'll see. All of yous. So long. Glad to be of service. If you need to know more about Undvik or the giant, ask Axel, or that one over there, or Anter. I'm looking for men from Undvik. You have oars from the Isle, and I once cut those waters with nary a race. Could trace you the shoreline in my sleep. A lovely excursion, if not for the bloody sirens. I'm the one to ask. Me or Axel and Tadarov? He's over there. What can a blow from our Skellig know about Unvik? Heard you trilling a different tune when Galmar was gathering his crew. Your love for the Ancrate fade that quick. Ah, that doesn't mind, Dan Dyer. Yalvar's from there, or so he claims. And you seem to know these waters. Why didn't you sail with Yalmar? Because that kind of expedition needs a true leader. And a whelp looking to collect bumps on his skull could only be its doom. Once I... You'd rather sit in your arse nose in the air, you Zerakinian princess. Brave lad comes along. You sail with him. I'd have sailed with Yalmar if only those seahorse hadn't banjaxed my knee. Would have sailed instead of sharing a table with a grumpy barnacle like you. You'd sail with anyone who'd let you aboard. Crack's daughter included. You mentioned sirens. Many on Undvik? So, so many. More on the other as. Bollocks. Once they attacked Lars and me when we were fishing. Before we could drive him off, they pulled Lars in the water and scratched me up so bad that... Boy! Drive away the sirens? How's that work? Ha! Plain to see you're no islander. With a horn wall's horn. One toot, and they plow and scurry off so quick the waves rock your boat. Need to get to Undvik. Ugh, another thrill seeker. Well then, listen close, lest you end in a watery grave. Sail out of port and head southwest. Watch for rocks protruding like pricks out of the water. You'll have to do some tricky tacking to get past them. Some of them shorter. Just below the surface, so careful not to scrape right over them. They breach your hull, you're done for. Cause just a few minutes in that icy water makes a corpse. One time I remember... Stick to the point. Oh, oh fine. Watch for the currents, cause they can drag you off course. Dash against the rocks, even. With a bit of luck, you'll land on the same beach where Galmar landed. Nice talking to you, but time I was on my way. So long. Fair winds to you.
I know that song. What are you doing here? Look, man. Another one. And so many times I've told him. What's that you say, Wilfred? <laughs> right you are. They never learn. At least this one heard a song before he died. Who were these men? My crew. They swore never to leave me. Kept their word. Tall one's Wilmar, Wilfred's to his right, and the lad with the stutter's Wilhelm. Why do you and your crew stay? We cannot leave. If we ventured it again, the giant would kill us all, like he did the others. You're Harald Houndsnout, Jarl of Undvik. Heard you were dead. We look like stiffs to you, me and me lads. Uh, well... Exactly. So they all think me dead, you say? Mayhaps it's for the best. Why'd the giant spare you? Me and my crew and the sirens. We're helping them build a longship. I sew the sails and run away at times, and then the sirens fly out and bring me back. Why does he need a ship? Where does he want to go? Promise not to tell no one. I trust my men to take the secret to their graves. But you... Promise, won't tell anyone. Fine then. The giant's going to sail her out to defeat the gods come Ragnarok. The final battle for the world's end. She'll soon be ready. Not much game here, but I saw the giant give you food. Where's he get it? Don't know, don't ask. Food suits me. Suits my crew. Over there, on the ground. Hands got bite marks on it. What? Where? Well, Mark, damn it. You're supposed to clean up. Couldn't keep a secret if your life depended on it. We had a choice. I had her starved to death. And I didn't force anyone. You know, whole crew voted in favor. I'm looking for Hjalmar on crate. Word is he came to this isle with a crew, aimed to defeat the giant. Oh, oh, I saw him, as did Wilmar. Sure it was him? Wilmar's got eyes like a hawk. They stood where you stand now. Poor sheep they were in, neath the red, fallen Viggy. And just between you and me, that boy is not quite right in the head. Oh, the young on Crete was here too. They recognize you? No. Thank the gods. Remember when this was? When what was? When Hjalmar on Crete was here with his men. Oh, that? No, oh, I don't remember. You might ask Wilhelm, though. They say where they were headed? Did they, Wilmar? Oh, I aim to make camp in the old guard tower. <laughs> Easy enough to find. Stands in the middle of a valley, garden, absolutely nothing. Try to come back for you once I've found Hjalmar. <laughs> Sound awfully sure you'll find him? Maybe you can kill the giant while you're at it, all on your own. They're the same to a man, aren't they, Wilhelm? All think themselves immortal. Gotta go. So long. Hey, if you really aim to return, mind bring me some solid twine. You're like to find it in the village. And nails. We're short on nails. Can you remember that? Nails and twine. I'll remember. Cooking something? Huh? Cookie. Hey! Who the help me! Water's getting hot! Ah! Ah! Shut it. I need that man. No. We win human from mirrors. I figure it is. <laughs> Forget it. Just don't feel like negotiating. Uh, can you walk? Uh, I... Uh, I'll manage. Let's get out of here. You all right? 
Never go in a sauna again, long as I live. Other than that, I think I'm fine. You saved my life. How can I thank you? I'm looking for Hjalmar. Hjalmar? Curious where he is myself. Him and the whole crew. Something must have happened. Otherwise, he'd have come looking for me after I went missing that night. I know he would have. Wait now. Why are you looking for Yalmar? The expedition. Tell me about it. Started like the best ballads. With a hearty storm. Sail whipped about like a rag. Finally caught sight of shore. But then sirens attacked, as if they'd just been biding their time. But we'd have come through somehow, I know it. If not for the bloody helmsman. Helmsman made a mistake? I'd say his ma made the mistake. Birthed them arseways or something. Dim that one. Heard tales and was so afraid of sirens he stuffed wax in his ears. Failed to hear our warning calls. Steered us right into the rocks. Lost a few men. Had to drag the wounded on litters. And the sirens pestered us the whole while. Yalmar kept blowing his horn. But we'd come too close to the hillside and he brought an avalanche down on us. Not your lucky day, it seems. What happened next? We found that daft bugger in the ship. Then pitched camp near the guard tower. Things seemed to calm. Kroch sent me here to find Yalmar. New king will soon be chosen on Ard Skellig. Everybody's waiting for the young on Krayt's return. So it started already. Yalmar, ruler of all Skellige. Doubt he's cut out for it. Yalmar's irresponsible, stubborn, and heeds no counsel. But he's a born leader. Been mates since we were lads. With him, man, Ceres. Ceres has put forth her claim to the throne as well. Ceres? But she's... Well, she's... Like father, like daughter. What about Crack? He support her? He let her set off on some daft quest. Wasn't thrilled, especially since Sarah set out without telling him. Nor did she tell me. Where'd she go? Who'd she take with her? Speaker Og, and no one. She went alone? Damn the dogs! If Yalmar only... Has she come back, do you know? Yeah, she's back. Did what she set out to do, too. Thank the gods. How'd you get separated from the others? <clears throat> Had the watch for the night. Saw Egnar of Faro steal Yalmar's Hornwall horn. One he uses to drive away sirens. Bugger snuck out of camp. I followed him. No idea what got into that ginger head of his. Told Yalmar not to take him with us a thousand times at least. And? You catch up to him? Aye. In these caves. Bastard screeched so loud he drew the trolls. Thought the buggers would eat me right then. Dropped me in a marinade instead. Decided I was ready to cook today. Would have been the end of me if not for you. Any idea where Yalmar thought he might find the giant? We'd learned where it has its lair. In the caves above the village. Yalmar decided the best way there would be to cross the lake. Viggy the loon insisted he knew a better way, through the mines. But none of us fancied strolling into a monster pit. Think I know enough. So long. Wait. I'll go with you. Luckily the trolls didn't use my bow for kindling. Near twenty of them. But no Yalmar. Fallen! I was sure you died. Where have you been? Ceres has gone to Speakerog. Alone. Couldn't wait. No. Had to sneak off, as if you were afraid of someone would steal the giant out from under you. Ceres, she stayed a claim to the throne then. And you'd have rather gone with her. I'd have liked to have the choice. Wait, 
Still need to thank you, Geralt of Rivia. I'll never forget you came to my aid. You know me? Our bards sing ballads about you. And my father told me of your adventures when I was a lad. <laughs> I remember it well. You needn't be a witcher to be a hero. Cold water and a salty breeze. Those are a Skellige lad's potions. So that ballad about the witcher and the sorceress? That's you? Yeah. Where's the rest of your crew? Fought our way through a swarm of sirens to get here. Only a handful of us left after that battle. Now we're but three. The sirens tore Leif up good. We should see to his wounds. He's dead. What? Nah, he's just unconscious. Lost a bit of blood. He's dead. Trust me. Swore he'd sink his blade into the giant's heart. Swore it on the bones of his ancestors. Coming with me? Stupid question. Join us, Geralt. Geralt! Help me smash that! We're sure to reach the giant's cave this way! I'll cover you. Position myself so as to keep the giant in sight. Careful now. One odd step and you can wake him. Before he wakes! Key should be around here somewhere. Wait. Know what they call Viggy? The loon. For good reason, too. Best he stay in there till we finish with the giant. What? You out of your bloody mind, Uncrit? I thought he was your comrade. He is. Which is how I know what he's like to do. All right. Guess he should stay in the cage, then. What? I'll not forget this, Uncrit! You want all the glory to yourself? Let me out right now! Yourself. We never knew with Viggy. Might have rushed at the giant barefisted as soon as he was out. And that might have spelled death for us all. Thanks for your help, White Wolf. Geralt the Giant Slayer. I'll make sure the Skald said it in song. Yalmar the Giant Slayer sounds better. It was your venture. You deserve the glory. Hmm. Believe you're right. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Let's go. Gonna head back to Ard Skellig? Aye. After all, I'm to be crowned. I killed a giant, won back Onvik, and lost my entire crew. Mayhaps should have set out alone. Like Ceres. Regret ever setting out on this expedition? What's the matter now? Giant's dead. And the folk of Unvik can go home. And Cyrus? She back yet? 
Yeah, and she did what she set out to do on Speaker Og. She always liked competing with me. Except so far, I've always won. Well, time I was on my way. So long, Geralt. Thanks for your help. So long, Ungrate.